Coach, just initial I thoughts have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just – I mean, obviously the second half was much better. I, You know, we had talked about being ready. Um, I don't – I asked them after. I said – you know if you're ready. I, I don't know. I, I think we came with a good mindset, but it didn't go easy. Obviously, when we didn't make the threes, they you know, you start seeing the body language change. Uh, you know, and, and I thought we were making a push. We went up 18-16. It seemed like momentum. And then our, we had the young guys in there who I thought gave us some good energy, but they were – just didn't do a good job match up in transition defense. They scored eight in a row. So now they go on the run and, you know, now you, again, you score 20 points at halftime. So we have what, 21, 20 and 16. So, um, you know, but a second half, much better flow. Um, you know, you, you have 14 assists, second half, some of that you're making shots, but some of it you're moving the ball. Um, and we stepped up and made some shots. Uh, you know, it, it, the defense was, you know, first half was pretty good other than that little stretch with the transition. Um, and we were fortunate. I thought start of second half, they missed a couple layups, and then we went on the run. And that's when, um, you know, we were able to kind of take over the game. Do you have to change your approach going to these games now when the same pattern happens one, two, three? Well, I, I, you know, I hopefully get um, – you know, one, we're a new team, a young team, and we've only played three games and we're 3-0. and So, and we've, you know, you've won by, you know, two decent margin games against teams that are, you know, they, they're they decent teams. These are, Mammoth was a lot of veterans coming back. North Dakota State had a lot of people, all their guys back. So, um, you know, we, we just got to learn and grow from it. Uh, you know, they, I, we talked about, it, I said 67-64, Evansville, Kentucky, last night. And if that doesn't motivate you and get your attention, uh, I don't know what would. So it, uh, you know, again, they, I don't know, they, you'd have, they have to answer. I asked them, I just kind of left it as a generic question. Um, you know, are, were you ready? And, and you know, I, I, I thought they were, but um, obviously it wasn't very good in the first half. You guys go four of 19 on threes tonight. How much of a concern is the three-point shooting this early in well, the season? Well, we're one for 32 if you didn't figure it out in the first half. So that's not very good. And, um, you know, some were forced and rushed, and some I didn't think were, were not part of the offense. And there were other ones we were just wide open. And I told them at halftime, obviously, uh, what are the teams doing to us? They're just sitting in the lane waiting. And a couple times we had drop downs. You know, they got three guys around Levi, lose the ball. You know, Monte got it, you know, Mac got it taken a couple times or we drove and there's a bunch of people there. Uh, we had five charges against Vegas. They're sitting in the lane. We got to move the basketball, kick it. I thought those threes in the second half were pretty good rhythm threes. Obviously, it helps Xavier hit one. We get a, get a couple stops, get another one. We get nice run to start the second half. Coach, you like how, where your shot distribution has come from so far this season? Yeah, I think it's pretty balanced if you look at it. Um, you know, and, and our you know, bench, is, bench has pretty good numbers. You look at shots. Um, you know, I think we just – we got to – I talked about uh, dominating twos, and we've been pretty good about, you know, the two-point field goals. Uh, we got to steal some baskets. I thought we pushed it in the second half. Uh, you know, David got out on the break uh, – you know, Cardi pushed it much better. Um, you know, that that one play, the steal by Xavier to, I think, to Monte, to Mac for the dunk. Uh, those are kind of spirit breakers. Those are the – but, again, we made the right play, moved the ball. Uh, we had some transition in the first half, and, you know, we just forced it and turned it over. And how many turnovers at halftime? It was uh, – I think we had – what was it? Nine at halftime. So, uh, you know – did a little better job taking care of the ball in the second half. David, a lot of the threes you guys take, you know, they're open. They just don't seem to fall. Is it tough to turn them down when they're open like they did, even if they aren't falling for you guys? Uh, no, not really. It's uh, more of if you miss, the, you guys make sure the next one go in. Or, like, it's like when uh, when you miss one, it's, it's coming back around to you, so you just got to be ready. Well, David, do you feel like the threes you guys shot tonight were open looks and they just didn't go in, or how do you kind of 
evaluate those attempts? Um, yeah, I think they were open looks. They just didn't go in. Um, I think it just uh, we we were spot up. Uh, we just gotta we just gotta make the shot. You know, that just that just takes getting in the gym and, and trying to hit them. So yeah. For both David and Montavious, why do you think you guys have been so good in the second half, but not so good in the first half in all three games? Um, honestly, I think it just. Honestly, I just think it's just uh, the speed of the game. Um, I feel like we just we come we come out and we just we think just things take things for granted. But we got to come out in the second half and we just always play hard. So I think we should just come out play more harder in the first half and just lock in. I think it's just um, at halftime before the coaches come in, we talk and uh, the guys on the bench see what the guys on the court's not doing, and we just uh, communicate and. They just go out there the first five minutes and adjust, and then we come off the bench and just try to pick up where they left off. David, how do you feel out there running running the offense at, uh, as the point? Uh, I feel good. It's uh, something I've done my whole life, so it's, it's nothing different. David, what do you feel like you bring with your game that is special, that distinguishes you, that nobody else on the roster brings to the table? Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of things uh, guys do, but I feel like uh, passing the ball, as everybody knows that that's what I've done since I've been playing basketball. Uh, I think that comes from being a family person, having multiple siblings, and it's not really, uh, you, can, you can't be greedy, you gotta share it with a big family. Coach, uh, King Rice came in here and talked about how he sensed that Cardi kind of you know, calmed everybody down when things weren't going too, too well. Did you get that sense tonight? I think, you know, Wyatt asked me about Cardi when I just did post game, and, and if you remember back when he was a freshman and, you know, Cam goes down and we had to stick him in there, I think his coolness and calmness were um, probably the reason he had success. He, he, he has that, he chills, kind of just re plays relaxed. But I thought the second half, actually, he pushed it and got going a little bit. you got to play at different paces and, and take advantage. He is an unbelievable athlete, and he's got to take advantage. If he walks it up, it's not a good thing. And, you know, we, you know slowly but surely, we broke their spirit. I think you look at even minutes, our bench, you know, you got guys 17, 15, 16, 16. You know, and even Pearson comes in at the end. So, you know, hopefully that, that's going to be a positive as we move forward that we can wear people down and then able to take advantage of it and beat. Instead of they beat us down the court in the first half, we beat them down the court in the second half. Coach, how many point guards do you have on this roster and what do you look for from each of them? Well, you know, Cardi's probably a little more scoring. Even it's David can score. And, and uh, you know, is, this is all new for David, just kind of joining us, figuring it out. One thing we talked about at halftime as the coaches, we, we thought get David in with Cardi, with Xavier. And because in the first half, he was with the younger guys. And maybe that gives him a chance to direct and get it to people, more weapons, a uh, chance to, you know, execute a little better I, I, and so that we did do that and we had a good you know run in that stretch uh with that lineup in there so but you know David's a he's a great pass first guy he just talked about it that's his pride and joy um you know Cardi is is probably a little more scorer but I thought tonight you know one of the big plays jump stop kick it three jump stop kick it three and he's got to learn people are coming on him. And he's and if you make the right play, now we start making some shots. Now it'll open up the, the lanes for him, which it did in, later in the half. So, um, you know, and Sean gives us a little point guard. Dejuan's got a little better. Uh, you know, so uh, you, know, you got to hopefully enough versatile pieces that can that can help us. You feel like Cartier can – or uh, Cardi can – create whether he's at the one two three where oh yeah at. actually we keep telling him that's why with he always says i love with being in with david and but we're trying to get up the court and let david kick it ahead to you now in space with your athleticism you can make plays and i think he's got to learn that to to get up the court uh so that he can you know get downhill we got to get downhill i didn't think first time david got it and they switched he dribbled, 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 and then he shot a, a, a tough three. And we, our whole thing, and probably not enough practice time, and we haven't gone against it enough, but we said keep it flowing. 
get it to the next guy. Hand off, next guy. Now, sooner or later, you break people down. I thought second half, we got it side to side a little better. Uh, Coach, seen instances of the first few games where Monty gets on the perimeter defensively and seems to do a pretty good job. Has he always been good at that, or has that come along well, a little I, bit? I think he's, he's done a nice job. And, and, you know, his minutes, again, is one of the most on the team. And because he does what he – what he's figured out his role. I think that's the biggest thing he's done right now. And he's, he's doing a great job. On it. He's executing, taking pride in it. He's guarding, rebounding. Everyone wants to score. And he got, you know, he got a little more, a few more points, make the dang free throws, and he's got 10, uh, you know, tonight. So uh, slowly but surely get some confidence. His plus minus is 21, second on the team. Uh, and so, you know, it, it's, uh, he's, he's done a nice job. I, and I like what Antonio's given us. He's played hard, too. I thought first half he was maybe the only sh- – Shining star there, you know, because he did some things and kept it active, got his hands on balls. And uh, they've both been pretty good for freshmen and days one, too. I thought he seemed a little more comfortable today uh, making some plays. <coughs> yeah, how, how big is it to get these, these freshmen on the court for over, and David from well, the court for over 15? You know, years. again, what I just went through, you know, 17, 15, 16, 16. And, and, you know, it's been like that pretty and, – and then you get Monte's 28. So, um, you know, they're getting a lot of experience. Uh, we're 3-0. Oh. We've learned. We've had – you know, they haven't been easy games by any means, and which is good for us for, for the long haul. But I emphasize to them in practice, this next 10 days is so important to take what we learned in these th- first three games – and get something done in practice. Practice has to be important. I know Iverson doesn't think it is. Coach Weber does think it is. And it's got to be important that, you know, we got one game, Pine Bluff on Tuesday, and they're going to zone us. So we go, that's good to go against zone. So we got to prepare for that and get better. Tonight they played a handful of possessions of zone. Um, but, you know, getting ready so that we have made strides when we go to Fort Myers. <laughs> 